welcome to our Kids Online Cooking Club here in beautiful Priest River, Idaho, where today, and I always give you guys the weather report, today is a beautiful day. It's almost 60 degrees and we're supposed to get some rain tonight, but other than that. So today's recipe is going to be puppy chow. Many of you probably already know this one, but like we always talk about, I have never made this before, so um, I've tasted it before. It's related to Muddy Buddies and, and things like that. So it's uh, chocolate chips, peanut butter, Chex mix, you know, rice, square rice cereal, uh, and powdered sugar. So we've got a class this afternoon, uh, fifth grade and up class this afternoon doing marshmallow guns. Um, and I thought that would be a fun thing to do, shoot the video today so they can have this as a snack after they're done doing their project. So uh, we're gonna get started right away. But if you haven't washed your hands yet, go ahead and do that, and I'll be here when you get back. Okay, paused, I hope you paused your video when you did that, otherwise you're coming back in the middle of the video. So the first thing we're gonna do is, and we're gonna have a couple of starts and stops in this, in this video today, but the first thing is to take one cup of chocolate chips, and you could use dark or semi-sweet or milk chocolate. This is semi-sweet. One cup of chocolate chips, and then you're going to take uh, a cup of peanut butter. And I happen to know that this is pretty close to a cup. It's left in my jar. In fact, I'd be surprised if it wasn't exactly. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it a cup because I kind of looked at it before one of those measuring by approximation things. So, and oh, by the way, there's a big hole in the counter right now, and on the other side there, we have four of our sinks in for our commercial kitchen, but this one hasn't been put in yet, and so we should have it in in the next couple of days. Um, but if you're wondering why the counter looks a little strange and it has a hole in it, that's why. So, at this point, I have put in a cup of peanut butter, <laughs> if I can get it out of the jar. All right, I think we got it now. A cup of peanut butter and a cup of chocolate. Then you're going to take that and you're going to, um, first of all, you're going to put it in a microwave-safe bowl. Uh, or you can do this on the stovetop. So if you're doing it on the stovetop, do it low and slow in a, a pot on the stove. So the way we're going to do this is, we talked about this before, is I'm going to give this a minute, and then we're going to do 30 second intervals after that. So while I'm melting that, I'm going to pause the camera so you guys can just hang out. And we'll make this a short and quick video today. So. We'll be right back when this is melted. Okay, we're back from melting our chocolate and our peanut butter together, which was one cup of chocolate, one cup of peanut butter. It only took like one solid minute and stir, and then another 30 seconds stir, it was done. So it's ready to go. The next thing you're gonna do is, in this particular recipe, and there are lots of recipes out there. This one, I didn't wanna make a huge batch, so it called three cups of rice crisp cereal, you know, like rice checks. You could probably use a different variety. Uh, you might be able to use the wheat one, but the rice one also, the benefit of this recipe is it is, it is gluten-free for people in your family who don't want gluten. So you're gonna put three cups of cereal in. You're gonna take half of your melted chocolate and peanut butter. And you're gonna stir that together. So it's pretty well coated. You do this in a bigger, in a big bowl. You can tell the difference. I used a smaller one for microwaving. Okay, so once you have that one pretty well coated, then you're going to take another three cups of cereal. peanut butter, so now it's all sticky. You're going to do that, and you're going to pour the rest of your chocolate and peanut butter mixture that you melted 
over the top of that. All right. Now all the chocolate is in our in our bowl, and we're mixing the cereal in. We get that put in the mix. sugar just fell down that big hole in the counter there. I think I'm going to be sweeping the floor when I'm done. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty good, guys. See how it's getting whiter? The powdered sugar is sticky to the outside, which it also, not only does it add some, some yummy to it, but it also kind of keeps it from sticking to your fingers when you're eating it. Makes it a little less sticky. I think we're going to end up with just a little more up there. That should be about right.
hope you have a great week and we will see you soon.